what's going on guys, Spion here again, Goosebumps number one Aussie fan bringing you another video. Now, uh, on pretty much every video that I upload, I always get at least one or two comments from you guys saying, oh, there's got to be something else you like other than Goosebumps. Is there anything else other than Goosebumps that you like? Do you only like Goosebumps? I mean, Goosebumps, doesn't it get old for you? Like, isn't there something else you like? Well, it doesn't get old for me, okay? I've had a few of you guys saying that. So I don't know if you're trying to be like smart or cheeky the way you say it, or if you legit want to know my other obsessions, if I like anything else. Well, obviously Goosebumps is the all-time favorite thing, right? I've been collecting it since I was five. It's as far back as I can remember, Goosebumps, all right? But uh, there is other things I really do love as well. Okay, I have a huge obsession because it's my favorite horror movie of all time. Okay, Goosebumps is, you know, it's not MA15 plus horror, okay? It's not a slasher. Like, I'm going based on, like, a slasher film, horror. My favorite one of all time is the original first Scream movie, 1996, okay? The original first one. It is, like, my favorite all-time favorite guilty pleasure like horror movie ever I love it so much like I don't know what it is it's like the only horror movie that I can sit and watch and then after I can play it all over again and I can just keep watching it over and over I can't say too much about the sequels the second one I liked as well the third one fourth one no <laughs> I've seen them obviously but they just didn't do it for me. The second one kind of did. The first one just did it for me. It was amazing. The atmosphere, the 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 dialogue, the characters, the killers were amazing. Okay, like every other movie, it was more about like a vengeance or you know. But the first movie, those killers were insane. And it's the fact that they're teenagers. It makes it a lot worse, you know, because they're all like adults, you know, in college and whatnot in the sequels. But like the fact that the killers are like teenagers and like Billy Loomis and Stu that you know they're like 17 so and they make that one reference about killing Sydney's mum like one year ago so they would have only been 16 when they did that like it just it's a lot worse it makes it like bad you know the fact that they're only teenagers and I just I love that movie it just it you know you can relate to a lot of the things in that movie like when they're talking about horror films and stuff like the first one is just a masterpiece and it's I think it's so overlooked compared to other horrors like you know Friday the 13th you know Nightmare on Elm Street ha Halloween you know I think that Scream okay it's obviously iconic and everything you know they've got a TV show now but I feel like it's so overlooked compared to like it, the villain compared to like other you know movies because Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard, who played Billy and Stu, they were fantastic, especially at the end of the movie, like, that last 15 minutes was so well acted and just nuts, crazy, like, it was amazing, like, that movie is definitely my all-time favorite horror movie, and I do actually collect it, check this out. Do you guys see all this? And we got the laser disc. Right there, we've also got, that is the vinyl, the record, it's actually a limited edition blood splatter one as well, which is really cool. And we got the VHS's, one and two, got like a box set of all the movies in there, you can see on the side there, that's actually the cassette, and then we got... Scream 2 on CD and like a few copies of the first one. <laughs> I know, right? Why would I have so many? Well, I've just come across so many in the collecting. And then we got the little keychain thing from Funko and the pop voice changing Scream figure, Movie Maniacs figure with the poster. Probably just seen the background. But yeah, the mask is obviously from Screen 4. And that's actually a signed picture by Skeet Ulrich. It's not a screen picture. It's only just a picture of him. But it's still signed by the original killer. That's all I care about. I mean, it would be nice if it was on a screen photo. But I got that actually from Supernova. And I asked them, do you have anything signed by Skeet or Matthew Lillard or Nev Campbell? And this is all they had. The closest thing they had to anything. But, uh, 
yeah. So yeah guys, as you've just seen, I actually do collect Scream. I have pretty much everything of anything to do with the first movie. I'm only waiting on one thing, which is like a bobblehead of Ghostface, like from the first movie by uh, Headliners, that's uh, the company that made it. But uh, yeah, I have pretty much everything, the laser disc, the vinyls, the cassette, the CD, the figurines, you know, the reaction figure, pop vinyl, I have all that stuff. But um, yeah guys, okay, so that's my favorite horror movie of all time, but uh, I'm also like, okay, going based on like games and stuff, my favorite game of all time is Kingdom Hearts. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. It's not a kid's game. I hate when people say that. The ones that say Kingdom Hearts is a kid's game are the ones that have not played it. Because it's not a kid's game. The storyline. Okay, yeah, there's Disney in it. But you know what? The plot is just the biggest mind. Like, it's so hard to understand. I'm still wrapping my brain around the story. Like, it's... It's complicated, it's so complex, it's not for kids to understand, like, you know, there's so much that goes on in it, like, yeah, you got the Disney characters in it, but it's not a kid's game, the story is just so complex, you know, the story arc is insane, and I don't understand when people say, oh, it's just some Disney kids game, those are the ones that have not played it, okay, they just look at the cover, they look at the photos, and they just go, oh, it's some kids game, they haven't played it. Unless you played it, you wouldn't say that, because it's not. It's a very complex story, okay? It's really complex, okay? It, I'm, as I said, I'm still wrapping my brains around, like, it's some of the games. Because there's so many spin-offs now, like, they finally announced Kingdom Hearts 3, like, a year or two ago, and they're finally bringing it out. But there's so many, like, side stories, just so that the next installment will make sense. So you have to, like, play all these little mini side games just to, like, make the next one you know, makes sense to you, like Kingdom Hearts 2, like I had no idea what was going on, but then I played Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories and I was like, oh, okay, you know, because it's like the in-between game, so there's just so much complexity in that story, like, it is amazing, I love the story, I love that it's complex, and you've got Disney in it, like, it's just awesome, but, uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it, other than, you know, Goosebumps that I'm really into, you know, because... I have other things that I like as well, you know, like uh, my favorite band is the Sex Pistols, I love the Sex Pistols, and Bring Me the Horizon, I love Bring Me the Horizon, but I don't really collect it, you know, Goosebumps is sort of like, you know, the one thing that I really collect, and Scream, number one. <laughs> the only thing you would have noticed in that collection was Scream 2 on VHS and the CD, but yeah, pretty much everything I have is from the first movie, and of course I have the mask, which is actually from Scream 4. But I couldn't find a mask from the first movie. It'd probably be really hard to find a, like, a licensed mask from Scream 1 because there's been so many sequels since then. And uh, when you go to like a costume shop, they sort of just have the most recent, latest one. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, so that's pretty much it for my other obsessions other than Goosebumps, all right? Because a lot of you just always comment this. Like, do you like anything else other than Goosebumps? Well, yes, I do, but not to this, you know, not to this standard, you know, like, this is, this is a whole new level, you know, okay, but, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon.